All right. So this one I can just heat up right away. Come in a little bit closer. There's that dark oxide, but you can see where the flux is. That oxide's not building up. Just on the outside edge is where the flux is touching. Right now it's getting red hot, and there's that little molten sort of a glow. You heat it, take the flame away, heat it, take the flame. See how it's curling up on itself a little bit? Mm -hmm. And it's also getting that little texture. It's buckling over there. That's kind of cool. Take my tweezers, put some more flux in here. Now when that metal is real hot like that, the flux sort of has a tendency to wait a couple seconds before it spreads out. And then I'll take my other piece of 20 gauge wire, lay that right on top of there, trying to get the wire to come off at the bottom. And then I'm not gonna heat this part of the wire at all. I'm just gonna heat up here again. And I'll use my tweezers in case I need to manipulate it a little bit or even the soldering pick, one or the other. And heat this a little bit more slowly from above because I don't want to flutter the flux too much and make my piece of wire jump out of position. And then as this gets a little bit hotter, that oxide is going to burn away because of that flux. See how the, see how the metal comes back to white again? Because that flux is acidic. And it erodes that, that oxide away. Eventually this wire is going to sort of slump like right there and I can push on it. And then it's gonna slump right here and come into contact with that metal underneath of it. And then if I heat the whole thing carefully and gently, and you can see how far I'm a good inch and a half away from that inner blue cone. Heating this strategically, I wanna get everything up to the same temperature at the same time. 